Hey guys! So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do my name decoration that I have on my wall right there. It's crazy easy to do and I think it looks really good. So I'm super excited about this tutorial. I've been asked like a thousand gajillion bazillion times to do it. So I'm really glad that I'm finally doing it for you guys. But before I get started, I just wanted to tell you that I have a ton of information in the description below. That includes um, your supplies as well as a bunch of tips and then also how to make letters like those on Microsoft Word and just a whole bunch of stuff. So make sure that you look there before you ask any questions in the comments because I might actually answer your comment in the description. So do that first and then if it's not there, of course, just write me a comment and I will be sure to answer any of the questions that you have. And yeah, let's just get started with this tutorial. The very first thing that you're going to want to do with this project is paint your picture frames if that's what you're planning on doing. Of course, I did not like the color of my picture frame, so I painted mine pink. Now, if you want the same color that your picture frame already is, of course, you don't have to paint it. But if you don't, then do that first. Once you've done that, you're going to want to lay out the paper that you have bought in the order that you want to put them into your picture frames. This is really easy to do. All you just have to remember is don't put all of one color on one side and then all of another color on the other side. You want to distribute the color as well as the patterns of your paper throughout the whole word or phrase. Now in doing this you also have to pair two pieces of paper up together. One for the background of your picture frame and then one for the letter. Now when you do this, you want to make sure that you don't put two contrasting papers together because you don't want them to be too busy and not be able to see what the letter is or anything like that. So by that I mean if I had taken these two pieces of paper and put them together, it probably would have been pretty hard for you to see what the letter was. But on this one, I put just a plain piece pink piece of paper and then the crazy background and that made it easy for you to see that it was a letter E. That is just something that you guys of course need to remember while you're doing this. Another thing that you need to remember is that if you are using a crazy piece of paper for your letter, like a pattern piece of paper, you want to make sure that the pattern is not too large like this one. If I had used this for the letter, then you probably wouldn't have been able to see the pattern at all and it just would have looked like a big mess of nothing. But if I use this one, which has the small flowers on it, as the pattern for a letter, you'll probably be able to see it because the flowers are small enough to see. That's just something that you probably need to remember in your paper arrangement. Alright, so once you have all your paper arranged, the next thing that you're going to want to do is start cutting your paper and this is really easy to do. Now obviously this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper and it cannot fit in my printer nor can it fit in my picture frames so I'm going to have to cut this paper to make it smaller. First I'm going to cut this paper and make it into little rectangles that can actually fit into my picture frames and I'm only going to do that to the background pieces of course. So you can either use your glass from your picture frame or the piece of paper that came in your picture frame. Either one is fine to cut this paper into the right size. Now you can either just take your scissors and cut it right out or you can trace it and cut it. Either way it doesn't matter. You'll end up with the same thing which is your little rectangle. Once you have finished that you're going to want to make the paper that's going to be your letter into the same size piece of paper as a printer paper so that you can place it into your printer. Now to do that you're just going to take a plain white sheet of printer paper and put it against your paper that's going to be your letter and then cut that out. Once you've cut it out you should have a paper like this one and then from there you're going to want to print your letter onto your paper. Now before you actually print your letter onto your good paper that you actually want the letter to be on, you're going to want to print it onto a plain piece of paper like this one just to make sure that it's the right size and everything like that. Now I've put my font and the design that I used for my letters in the description below so you guys can use the same one as me if you would like. And then once you have your letter printed onto your good paper, of course you're going to want to cut it out 
very simple, easy to do. You can use the scissors, or if you don't like that, you can use a X-Acto knife and a cutting board, which is very easy to do as well. From there, you're going to want to take your background paper and your letter and place them on top of each other, and then glue them together. I just used a glue stick because the letter is not going to come off. It's going to be stuck between the glass and the back of the picture frame. So I feel like if you just use a simple glue stick, it'll be strong enough just to keep the letter from sliding down into your frame. And then from there, once you have your letter glued on, all you have to do is place it into your picture frame and you're done. As simple as that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was very helpful. If you have any questions, don't forget to look in the description box below because I have a ton of information there. And then if your question is not answered in the description box, you can always leave me a comment and I'll be sure to answer them. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!